Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Sparkplugs. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful uh, 3D part in Fusion 360 surfacing workspace. So this uh, is not possible to make this in uh, uh, completely in solid workspace. So we will be using the surface workspace. So let's get started. So switch to new workspace and on the surfacing, click on the create a sketch and on the front plane, start by making an, a sketch. So switch on the construction mode draw one horizontal and one uh, vertical construction line like this go to three point arc from this point to this point here just switch off the construction mode draw a line like this now press l again and draw one construction line horizontal from this and make it tangent relationship between these two press d for dimension from this point to this point make it 30 mm from this point to this point the horizontal dimension is going to be 70 mm and the radius uh, is going to be 160 so your sketch is finally fully constrained finish the sketch go to revolve select this as the profile and axis is going to be this one and make it symmetry and make the angle as 90 degrees like this and press ok now click on create a sketch again and on this plane create an sketch like this. Now again go to three point arc and make an arc like this. Now press D again and from this point to this point make this distance as 25 mm. From this point to this point. from this uh, from this point to this point this is going to be 80 mm the radius of arc is going to be 90 mm like this so just drag it upwards like here press d again and from this point to this point this dimension is going to be 15 mm and this point to this point this is going to be 60 now your sketch is fully constrained now as you guys can see the distance from this point is 25 and this is going to be 100 so now i'm going to create an offset plane so offset plane first one at a distance of minus 25 exactly at this point and the second one at a distance of minus 80 exactly at this point now as uh, click on create a sketch and on the farthest most point click on create go to ellipse from origin point to this point make an ellipse like this press d again and make the smaller dimension as 30 mm and the this point is going to be tangent with this one and you may finish the sketch now go to sketch and hide this for now click on create a sketch and on this plane again repeat the same step this time the ellipse will be smaller and till this point and the distance is going to be 10 this is how this will look like in 3d and finish the sketch now we have a two sketch now one thing that i forgot so in this sketch so here it is just right click on it and go to create a sketch edit a sketch just mirror this line once constrained just mirror it uh, press l again and draw one horizontal construction line make it construction and mirror this line like this so that we have a ellipse here now just hide the first body first revolve body that we have created now go to loft and select this profile and this one to create a loft between them now go to rails select this one the guide type would be the rails and select this profile and this one so that it will get lofted according to that and press ok now bring back the first body like this go to create go to mirror select this face and the mirror plane is going to be your bottom plane and press ok now click on stitch and join these two surfaces that's this command used to join the surfaces and this is the tolerance that you want and press ok now we have a single surface now i'm going to trim it trim this surface and this surface to make them join so click on trim it will ask you the trimming tool so first of all i'm going to trim this part so this is going to be our trim tool and it will ask you to remove the 
part that you want so select this part that you want to remove and press ok now again click on trace this time this is going to be our trim tool and this is be our trimming body so I need to remove the inner face this one and this one so just select that faces which you want to remove and press ok now we have a, a single body here now click on stitch select this one and this one and press ok now we have a single body as you guys can see here now go to modify go to fillet select this edge and this edge and make a radius of 10 mm like this now again go to create a sketch and on this plane press c for circle and from the origin draw a circle of diameter 78 multiplied by 2 that is 156 and exit the sketch now extrude it with symmetry like this and again trim this part i'm going to trim this extra one so this is going to be our trimming tool and i need to remove this face and press ok now just hide the cylindrical body this is what we got now go to create go to thicken and select this one and give it as thickness of 0.5 mm go to body and select as new component the operation would be no component and just hide the body for now and we have a new component here press shift and n to enables the color automatically go to solid click on fillet select this face this face this one and this one and give a radius of 0.25 like this yeah so this completes our exercise on fusion 360 so hope you guys will enjoy the video don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day